In this video, we're going to talk about how to travel for a whole month for just $200. So how can you travel for a month, for 30 days, for $200? Well, there's different ways you can do it. Let's just say you're from the United States and you have you know, the gear for backpacking or camping. You can go hitchhiking and you can travel, you can get all your food for $200 or less. You could probably live off of $50 and travel for very little in the United States. You know, traveling all around the United States, you have a passport, you can go up to Canada, you can go to Mexico, and you can keep your cost for that month under $200, especially if you're camping or you're doing couch surfing, you might even be able to do it for less. Now, let's just say you're in Southeast Asia and you have a flight home, say you're in India, Pakistan, um, you know, one of these countries around there, maybe China, and you know you have to go home in a month, but you only have $200 to get out, to get through the next month. Well, if you happen to be able to get into India or Nepal, you can last an entire month in Nepal off of $200. So there's this hostel called Shanti Prudu Hostel. I'll try to remember to put the link in the description box below. But at the Shanti Prudu Hostel, you can get a, a bed and a shared room for two to three dollars a night. Two to three dollars for 30 days that's only 60 to $90. Let's just cap at 100. You're only spending less than $100 for an entire month of lodging at this place. Now, for an additional 2 to $3, you can probably get a few meals at the hostel or around the streets. You can get plenty of food for less, you know, less than 2 or $3. Um, and you can survive off of less than 2 or $3 a day getting your food. You can just hang out at the hostel, maybe have a few drinks, just relax and you can definitely get by with next to nothing, less than $200 for an entire month. Every day, just take out, you know, a, a decent, whatever amount of ruples is for, you know, two or $3, and I mean, you get by for, for 30 days. For 30 days, you can hang out in Nepal for $200 or less. Now, and that's, that's how you travel for an entire month off of $200 or less. Now, most people aren't comfortable with traveling for that little or for going to some of those places, but that's just part of traveling. That's just part of you know how we are as humans. But if you wanted to know how to travel for $200 or less, that's how you do it.